What's up YouTube? Hawk Man Randy Cabbage or Zerp84 uh, back with another video. Uh, it's been a little bit since I put one out. Uh, I apologize for that, just lots going on in life. Uh, but yeah, today there's a new one for you. In this video, I'm gonna be tearing down the old 5x5 by Gorilla Grow, setting up the new 8x4 by Mars Hydro. We're gonna get the auto flowers clipped uh, and drying. Uh, hopefully get a wait to you in the near future in another video. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get our new seeds, our new run put into some shot glasses. Uh, so follow along, check out the seeds that we're doing or the genetic, genetics that we're running. Uh, like and subscribe, comment down bottom. It's much appreciated. I'd like to interact with all the people that are following along. So yeah, let's check it out. First thing we gotta get done is get our last two ladies wet trimmed, clipped, and get them hung. This run had a blue dream, actually a couple blue dreams, some Afghan XXL, and some purple punch in it. This beautiful lady right here was a Blue Dream Auto from 420 Fast Buds. She was a three monther. Got them strung up, get them into the tent and get them hanging with the rest of the girls. Now comes the dirty work. Gotta get the tent emptied, vacuumed, and all scrubbed out. Gotta get her all disassembled and we'll repackage it for somebody else to enjoy in the future. Time to bust out the big girl. Looking forward to the bigger footprint and excited to see what we can do inside of it. All right, so we got our eight x four by Mars Hydro set up. Uh, we got the five x five by Gorilla Grow tent all scrubbed out and torn down. Uh, we went with some extra square footage this time. It's absolutely beautiful. Couldn't be happier with it. I uh, gotta thank Mars for sending it this way. Uh, let's take a look inside. <clears throat> so yeah, super spacious. Lots of growth space. Can't wait to get her filled up. This one we're gonna be running seven photo periods uh, and looking to fill this whole tent up with those canopies. So we got our Mars Hydro TS3000 running. She's daisy chained to our Mars Hydro SP3000 over here. We got our six inch carbon filter hooked up to our AC Infinity Cloudline T6. Couldn't be happier with that either. I've been running that for four grows now. Does exactly what it needs to do. Never had any issues. And that has its controller right over here. And it's got all the parameters set in there for humidity and temperature. Kicks that baby on and off when she needs to. Right below it, we got our ink bird. She's in alarm right now because I got the door open. Same thing, got her parameters all set up in there for uh, temperature and humidity. And then she's hooked up to this heater down here. Kicks it on and off when it needs to. We got another circulating fan down here with another heater. Um, <clears throat> soil height or pot height. Get that air circulating we got another one hooked up over here for uh air circulating canopy wise once we get them up and running in here and uh we'll most likely have another circulating fan down in this quarter of canopy height as well uh yeah can't wait to fill her up <clears throat> thanks again to mars hydro for all this wonderful gear they've been sending me and uh we'll take you inside and show you what we're dropping into our shot glasses all right so what we got here is our seeds for our next run uh we're going to get them into our shot glasses here uh, before we get them into our soil and get them germinating. Uh, this one, obviously, I'm doing a bigger run. I'm doing seven photos. Hopefully, we get 100% germination out of these. Seven photos, and we're going to try and film my new 8x4 tent. So, we've got King Cuts by Canucks, going to be dropping two of those. Cinderella 99 from Canucks, dropping two of those. A Cherry Garcia by Ethos, and Choco from Sonoma Seeds, which is my favorite high by far. Uh, super energetic, super focused, super creative. I uh, just love chocolate, my favorite. So like I said, we got our shot glasses here with full of water. It's just uh, straight up 
tap water doesn't need to be pH at this point. And we're just gonna drop our seeds into our shot glass and let them soak for 18 to 24 hours. While we got our next run soaking in their shot glasses, we're gonna get to the not so pleasant work in the cannabis field of dry trimming. It's been 10 days since getting clipped, so let's get to it and get these girls cleaned up. All the plants in this run were super frosty, full of trichomes, and smelled delicious. You can see from the picture early on in the vid, everything was super sticky, and my hands were disgusting. So there you have it, YouTube. Another video done. I apologize, this one wasn't so much of a tutorial. It was more of like a follow along with me, or this is what I got going on right now type of deal. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment. I'll try and answer your questions if you have any questions as well. I uh, should hopefully have another video coming out shortly, uh, getting the weight on the harvest from those ones we just cut up and trimmed up. Uh, and then shortly after that, there'll be another video because I've already got those seeds germinated and in some soil. So we'll, uh, we'll show you what's going on there as well. Thanks for tuning in and hope you stop by for another one.